Hi and welcome to the channel Budget Order Review. Now I've had to pick another room in the house because it's a bit cramped up elsewhere but I wanted to keep the videos flowing as much as I can. So I've come into this other room so uh, you know, bear with me kind of thing. Hopefully you can hear me this time as well. I will raise the volume of my voice so uh, when the adverts come on they don't suddenly blare out. So I do apologise for that last video. Today it's the turn of these Gal Gold Monitor Mark II loudspeakers. Uh, so we'll just have a little quick look at them. They're quite smart uh, looking little dad speakers at them. So it gives me, uh, kind of reminds me a little bit of the old Wolfdale 9.1s, I think with these two little ports at the front. Uh, I think they're available in a few different colours, you can get hold of them as well. But uh, I'm not too sure how old these are actually and how much they were new. I'm guessing they would have been about 70 or 80 pounds. They may have been a bit less than that, I'm not too certain. But anyway, if we just measure them up very, very quickly so you've got an idea how actually big these are. These are 10 and a half inches in height with a depth of six and a half inches and uh, we want a width now don't we and a width of seven inches we've got a five inch driver here we've got the two front ports at the front here and this little tweeter here i shall take it apart in a minute as well but i think this little tweeter here is also um, they also use this in the jb sorry jpw mini monitors as well it's the same tweeter as that speaker as well i think it's a three quarter inch uh, tweeter i'm not 100 percent certain but i'll put a picture of it up very very soon so uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take them apart, show you what's inside. So let's uh, lay them on the desk and have a little look. So there you can see the uh, main driver. That's a five inch driver. And it's kind of like got a plastic coating at the front and paper at the back. So it's a five inch little driver. Uh, there's the tweeter there out of the unit as well. And we just have a pan in at the crossover. And there's the crossover. And as you can see, I think they, you know, they did maybe use this crossover for another speaker. Or just rearrange this crossover a little bit because you can see there is a markings there for a couple of other components that are not actually used on this uh, crossover there's the uh, padding inside not a lot of padding really to be honest with you just a little bit of uh, wadding or padding whatever you want to call it and uh, if we just turn the speaker around you can see the back there and as you can see these are bi-wireable so uh, that's a little look at the speaker so one thing I haven't mentioned is the uh, front covers on these speakers uh, there's the front cover so I'm going to clip this on this clips in quite nicely actually Gives that satisfying clipping kind of noise. So if we just listen. And that ain't going to come out. It takes a little bit of a pulling. We spin it round. And as you probably already see before in the previous photos. These are bi-wireable. I tried these bi-wire and normal. And to be honest with you. There wasn't any difference at all. I couldn't hear any difference. There may have been something really very, very subtle. Very, very subtle. It would have been to the extent that I, that I couldn't really hear the difference there. So just to let you know, this by wire didn't really make any difference at all. Maybe more for show than anything else, I don't know. But uh, actually, sound-wise, it wasn't going to suddenly improve the uh, speaker varsies, that's for certain. Now, I bought these speakers. These are not expensive speakers. You can easily get these on eBay for 20 to £25, quite easily. If they're more than that, then, then don't bother because they are that price. You know, one's going to come up for that price. The reason I've got them... I'm going to try and do a video eventually of a little budget system, an amplifier receiver, something like that, a turntable maybe, or a CD player, a pair of speakers, something as cheap as possible, it's still going to give you a reasonable sound, you're going to get some enjoyment out of it, and we're going to go as low as I possibly can, and I thought, what not, you know, a, you know, a pair of speakers that are readily available for £20-£25, that would be a good start, so that's the reason I got these, and they can't say they're quite smart looking, they look quite smart, available, what's that available, they come up in a couple of different colours, on eBay so uh, you can kind of match them with some furniture around your house or something like that that's the reason I got these right so how do they sound what well, I bring out for three or four different vintage amplifiers and also um, another vintage amplifier but the audio labs 8000a which is quite a nice sounding amplifier maybe not quite, quite that vintage sound but uh, you know it's a very nice sounding you know quite a, a clear crystal kind of sound you know really really like sounds nice so um, threw that into the mix as well to give these speakers, you know, get a fair idea how they actually sound. Had them set up on my stands downstairs, moved them in and about the wall a little bit, and also bring them upstairs because not everyone's going to have them on a set of stands. Some people might just get these. Uh, like I say, if you're setting up for a budget system, uh, you're going to buy it as cheap as possible. The stands all of a sudden may cost you 30, 40, or 50 pounds. So not everyone's going to start off with a pair of stands. I may just have them on the side kind of thing. So also, I did that as well. So how did these actually sound once I've got it all set up with all the various different musics that I play? Um, well, I'll start off with the bass. Shall I? The bass is uh, it's one noted really. The bass hasn't got a great deal of detail to it. The bass, um, 
I would say it's muddy and that's quite a tight base actually, it's quite a tight base, you know, it didn't sound too bad, but it's like I say, one note, not a lot, of, you know, the clarity was all right, but it hasn't got, you know, a lot of clarity to the bass, but it was acceptable, don't forget these are a cheap pair of speakers, so that was acceptable, you know, it was okay, it's going to give you the beat and that, it doesn't go down that low, it hasn't got any extension to it, but it was okay, the bass was okay. Uh, Mid-range, the mid-range wasn't too bad, some tracks sounded better than others on the mid-range, and um, also that on the mid-range, um, you could kind of get it now and again. It wasn't in a lot of tracks, but it was on some tracks where, that, where the singer uh, kind of reached certain notes, kind of certain, um, you know, the vocals just reached a certain note. This would be mainly female. Uh, I'm not too sure how to describe this, really, but I think the best way is that uh, it sounded a little bit conified, the voice. You know, she was in the, you know, you could imagine her maybe in the recording studio and uh, someone's there just suddenly through a, a traffic cone and said uh, start singing out of that. I'm not saying it was that bad, but it kind of had that little resonance to it. It kind of had that little bit of a sound, just, you know, edging towards that kind of, uh, you know, it, her vocals were just edging towards that she was using a cone to, to, to actually, not in a good way, not that it was nice and focused, you know, you, you know, it's coming out, it was just kind of picking up the resonance of this plastic cone uh, in her voice uh, kind of thing. So that's a, a way of describing it. It was more apparent on that, uh, Audio Labs 8000 than it was on the other amplifiers, so I think it just brought out that detail even more. It wasn't every track, don't get me wrong, it's just certain little tracks here and there that I'd play that it kind of just edges a little bit towards that. I'm not saying it sounded like that, it just edges a little bit towards that. The vocals were alright, like I say, there wasn't a great, the detail was okay, let's put it that way, it was okay, no real clarity to it, uh, but it was okay, you know what I mean, it's okay. Uh, top end here is quite emphasised, the top end. I think it's got you know, a bit of a spike up the top. It kind of must go up something like that, I would have said. Uh, and it could get a little bit fatiguing. Uh, it was kind of like, I wouldn't say edgy, but it was kind of like um, spiky, that top end. could be spiky. The detail, again, was okay. Nothing fantastic. £20 pair of speakers. What am I expecting kind of thing? I'm not too sure how much these would have been brand new. I'm guessing these would have been about £60, something like maybe £70 brand new, something like You know, the cabinet and everything else is made quite sturdy but maybe uh, the crossover in there, the actual main driver. That tweeter isn't, isn't too bad, I don't think, that tweeter, because it's in the JPW uh, mini monitors, and uh, in them it doesn't sound uh, as maybe as bad as it does in these, that's for certain. So um, I'm not saying, you know, it's really bad, but it, you know, on certain tracks, it, yeah. I think it's going to get in your way a little bit, to be honest with you. I think it's going to get in your way, that, that tweeter, that top end, that kind of like curve upwards there at the top end. It's kind of got that mist, that... That kind of mist on it um, that just makes it can make certain tracks just sound a bit unpleasant a little bit unpleasant there uh, isn't vast but it is there like and I think it's gonna make uh, certain tracks and certain styles of music just a little bit unpleasant um, sound stage wasn't so bad just went on just a little bit uh, beyond the speakers um, the instrument placement was okay it wasn't nothing special it was okay kind of thing but um, there was no real focus with them instruments. You, could, you knew they were there, but there hasn't actually been, you know, spotlighted kind of thing. There wasn't being spotlighted these instruments. They were just there kind of thing. No spotlight, no focus, no detail, no clarity to them. Uh, no space around them instruments or anything like that. A bit claustrophobic, even though there was in that kind of thing. There was all kind of like, they, they just went on to each other kind of thing. There was no space in between them. Um, like I say, this is if you're going to sit back and listen to it. I, I, I sat back and I had to, you know, I know where you know certain tracks I'm playing at where certain instruments are going to come in, and I had to try and find them. And once I found them, I kind of knew they were there, and I thought, well, that's, that's where you know it's kind of in the right place. That's where it should be, kind of thing. But I had to listen out for it. I had to put a bit of work into to finding that kind of thing. Where on another pair of speakers, for instance, the Wolfdale Diamond Freeze, I could just sit back and relax, and that it was presenting it to me because it's saying I'm coming from over here, Mick. I'm over here, Mick. I'm over there, kind of thing. Where this time I was kind of like playing hide and seek. I had to go and find it. So um, yeah, that was disappointing as well. No real depth, uh, 3D wise, there's no real depth to it at all. Everything was quite flat to be honest with you. I had a bit of height for that, but most of the instruments were flat. No 3D depth to it, anything like that. So on the whole, these speakers, they're okay. They're okay, you know what I mean? If you're just gonna sit back and listen to it and not get too worried about it, but I think in the long run, that top end's just gonna get a little bit on your nerves. 
when you first hear it, you think, oh, it's got quite a bit of top in here. It sounds quite nice. It's quite a bit of dip. But that's really going to wear off pretty quick, I think. You're going to come to, you're going to think, oh, I'm going to have to turn that treble down a bit. It's just getting a bit too much. It's getting a bit too irritating now, kind of thing. And it's not low like it's nice and detailed top end. It's a bit mushy. It's not got a great bit of detail to it, really. And I think it's going to, you know, like I say, get on your nerves after a while. So even though these speakers don't look too bad, they've reasonably made the cabinets and everything else like that and they're cheap to buy i think there's a reason why they're on ebay for 20 pound and they're pretty easy to get hold of because no one really wants them i don't think so that's probably it so i'm gonna have to put you off i think you know what i mean if you're looking for a pair of these i say pay another 10 pound 15 pound and get yourself a pair of wolfdale diamond threes because between this and the wolfdale threes they're a million miles apart they really are they're a million miles apart the clarity on them wolfdale threes the airiness the instrument placement the, the space around the instrument and all that is vastly superior to these here, that's for certain. But if you want a really, really tight budget or you see these in a charity shop for a tenner and that's all you can afford kind of thing and that's a, as far as you want to go and you're not really too worried about hi-fi, you just want a sound to come out, it's okay. Not going to fill up a big room, this is for a smallish room as well, nothing you know vast, you know, a bedroom, a medium-sized bedroom or a, a med you know, smallish kind of lounge, something like that, they're okay not got a great deal of presence to them like you you know what i mean they're all right near field they're not too bad not a real presence to them as soon as you kind of pan out a bit you know the sounds coming from them two little boxes uh down the other end of the room kind of thing so um yeah obviously you know not a pair of speakers i'm going to recommend like i say you know not as you're really really on a tight budget uh spend that little bit more not a lot more to get something quite vastly superior so that's these uh i forgot what they're called now after all that they're the gal gold monitor mark ii speakers not too sure but it's bio wireable bit, bit of a waste of time i think really on these maybe just to make them look a little bit better than what they really are so uh, i'll say that's it until my next video i'll say thanks for watching and i'll see you all soon